for the supine lat pull down, supine is just lying down face up. You're going to mount your band um, a little more like 10, 8 to 12 inches off the floor. So a, a little bit higher than with the prone version. And we're going to lay with our head closest to the band. Face up, knees bent, and our feet flat on the floor. Now how far away from the band you are and uh, what strength band you use. A couple little factors to consider. Um, you want to be able to pull your elbows all the way down to your torso. Um, it's great, the, the higher you can get your hands like past your head, I wanna say above, but from this position, it's kind of more like beyond, <laughs> right? Um, the more beyond your hands are from your head, it's like you'll get more range of motion as long as you really can pull your elbows all the way down. So with that said, that might affect, like I said, how far away from the band that you are, how much tension you have. Um, you know, ideally you don't wanna have it loose at the top here and only be feeling it in the second half. And so that's where the strength of the band and where you are can really help you dial that in. Hi, I'm Rizelle. If you're a woman in your over 40s like myself, and you've been interested in doing strength training at home, but have felt intimidated by not really being sure how to do it, to be safe and to do it properly, I create tutorials that really break these movements down so you can feel comfortable doing them in your home. If that sounds good to you and you like my style of teaching, come on over to my website at inspirefulwomen.com. All right, so from here, um, we're in our position, we kind of, just get your tension right first, okay? Just so that you're in the right spot that you wanna be. And then I'm gonna take a short little break and talk about um, position of our spine. So, uh, because this is something that I didn't used to know, um, and so you may have been taught the same wrong thing. So I used to be, be taught that when we do um, exercises on the ground like this facing up, that, that I should press my low back into the ground so that I couldn't fit a hand in here. And so I would, I would do that. I would kind of tuck my butt, you know, and, and um, basically what I was doing was rounding my spine. And that's, that's actually not accurate. So what I've learned from the physical therapist is that pretty much in, you know, almost every exercise we do, we want to work at having a neutral spine position because that's really the healthiest position for the spine. And if you think about it, when it's explained that way, it makes sense, right? Like, oh yes, of course I'd wanna have a neutral spine and like be in a healthy position for my spine when I'm doing an exercise. It just, it makes so much sense um, to train that way. So to do that, uh, the idea is when you have a neutral spine, you should be able to fit one or two fingers in here kind of in your low back lumbar area, okay? So you should be able to fit a finger or two there. You don't wanna have your back arched really high like this, right? But like I said, we're also not kind of tucking our butt and pressing our back into the ground. So to kind of achieve that, you have to kind of think about, um, first of all, just lay there, don't actively do anything, because to, to arch our spine, we have to do something, and to tuck our butt, we have to do something. But if you just kind of lay here naturally, you'll honestly probably be pretty close to a neutral spine. From there, if you think about kind of activating your abdominals gently, we're not like gripping the core muscles, but we're just gently activating them, that will help us to not arch the spine, especially once we have the bands. When we pull the bands down, at that point, it can be easier to start arching the back um, just because we're pulling against that tension. So activating those abdominal muscles will help us to, to keep the back from arching, okay? So if you can fit uh, one or two fingers in there, great. Just kind of keep that position for the whole exercise. Let me see if I can find my bands up here. <gasps> A little blind, okay. So now that we've got that, um, your arms can start up as high overhead as I mentioned. Your palms are going to be facing up, facing towards the sky, okay? So your hands may be starting a little bit, you know, up here, or you may be a little farther beyond your head. Any of those is fine, okay? From there, remember your shoulders are going to be, I'm sorry, not your shoulders, your hands are going to be a bit outside the shoulders. So we don't want the hands in line with the shoulders, meaning too close together. We're going to press the hands away from each other a bit so that they're just outside the shoulders a bit. From there to do the movement, as you pull your arms down, you're going to let the elbows bend and pull the shoulder blades in and down the back as well. So as our arms come down from overhead, so do our shoulder blades. Let the elbows bend, 
bring the elbows all the way into the torso. Really squeeze them into the torso. Squeeze here, keeping the hands outside the shoulders. And then we're gonna slowly return to the top. My eyes are closed, ladies, because it's, it's about 12 o'clock, so the sun is overhead. This is not the best time to be doing this tutorial. All right, so do you see that? So let's just do a few together now. Thanks for being with me today, ladies. Once again, I'm Raizel. If you like my style of teaching and you're really interested in doing strength training at home, if you come on over to my website, I am creating full length workouts using these movements in beautiful outdoor nature settings with chill music, not the sort of music you've heard probably in most workout classes. If that sounds good to you, come on over to my website at inspirefulwomen.com.